take a look at this rig behind me. It is drilling down to an existing underground salt cavern that stands 750 feet tall. Just to put that in perspective, almost as tall as the Woolworth building in New York City, but underground underneath my feet. And when this comes online next year, it's going to be able to hold three and a half million barrels of oil. So this is one of three caverns uh, that are being developed by privately held Fairway Energy partners that all together will hold up to 10 million barrels of crude oil with plans to eventually expand that to 20 million. We're actively leasing the capacity right now in the marketplace. It's being received very favorably. We have a, uh, uh, a competitive cost advantage that we're trying to exploit as much as we can and, and uh, offer a, a much needed service here. So salt caverns are typically the least expensive way to store oil. That's one reason that Fairway expects uh, this project to be profitable, even if we were to see overall storage demand fall in coming years. But Fairway isn't the only company that is plant plowing money into Gulf Coast energy infrastructure right now. Now, according to energy data firm Genscape, that company estimates 19 million barrels of above ground storage are currently under development in the region. In addition to these caverns, some examples of that, Phillips 66 is doubling capacity to 16 million barrels at its Beaumont, Texas terminal. In Louisiana, you've got Hazelwood Energy Hub planning a $400 million crude storage and blending complex. And Enbridge recently announced a $5 billion plan to build out three oil terminals that would essentially enable more, the import and export of more crude oil and petroleum products. So now all of these are projects that are still uh, months, even years in the making, but they are underway at a time where we're seeing storage capacity across the U.S. and really across the globe uh, begin to tighten. And just how much here in the U.S., we will find out in just a few moments when the EIA releases its weekly inventory numbers. But again, a lot of uh, energy infrastructure investments here in the Gulf Coast, including these salt caverns underneath my feet.